prominent NFL insider has revealed the Chicago Bears trade timeline. Hello everyone, I'm Andy here with Chicago Bears React, bringing you all of the Chicago Bears news you're seeking out both during the season and now in the off season. Before we dive into today's video, please take a moment to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications and make sure you don't miss a thing. This is going to be an exciting off season and you'll want to get all of the most up-to-date news here at Chicago Bears React. Now, for today's story, we're looking at a report that's come out from Albert Breer during in his Monday Morning Quarterback um, article. In the article, uh, he is asked about whether or not uh, he believes uh, the Bears are going to select Caleb Williams. And in his response, he, he says, first and foremost, um, that he believes the odds are, are pretty are probably better than even that the Bears take Caleb Williams. Um, first overall and this is something that for those of you who are kind of clued into what's going on at the senior bowl where there's a lot of chatter um, it feels like there's a lot of smoke there that the bears have decided it's very different than last year where it kind of felt like the bears were um, leaking out their interest in justin fields a little bit um, actually more accurately leaking out their intent to trade um, in this in this instance a lot of the chatter coming out of the Senior Bowl is the Bears do seem um, pretty convinced that they want to move forward with Caleb Williams. Um, maybe they'll be swayed during the, the process. Maybe Drake May blows them away. Maybe Jaden Daniels, maybe another quarterback. But it does feel like the Bears have kind of decided that that number one pick is going to be used by the Bears for a quarterback. Um, and I think the, the piece here that really caught my eye is, is he elaborates. Um, and, he, and in his elaboration, he points out that um, <clears throat> the Bears are more likely than not going to move fields. And if you look at this kind of last line, they're going to do it. If you were a betting man, he says, they're going to do it before the scouting combine. The combine takes place this year at the end of February. And so what we're looking at here is the Bears are now kind of putting Justin Fields on the trade block. Um, and it seems likely he will probably be moved this month. Um, and the big reason is um, after the combine, some teams are going to look at potentially trying to sign – uh, Kirk Cousins are going to look at trying to sign Baker Mayfield, some of these other free agent quarterbacks that could be available. And the idea is you want to start this bidding war and say he will be moved before free agency. Um, and, and that way teams know, like, the teams have that kind of um, insecurity of, like, I don't know that we can get a free agent quarterback. And so some of the teams we'd be looking at that might feel that way um, <clears throat> would be the Falcons, who don't pick to number eight. It'd be the... Uh, the Raiders, who are picking in kind of the, the early 10s. The Broncos, who are picking in the early 10s. Um, teams that realistically don't have a shot at a top quarterback in this draft, but don't also have a current answer for what they're going to do at quarterback in the 2024 season. And so for those teams, they can't guarantee they're going to get a Baker Mayfield this month. They can't guarantee they're going to get a Kirk Cousins. And so they might be more likely to overpay for fields right now um, because at the end of the day, like you want to guarantee. Um, so you'd love to get, if you're a team, you'd love to go into free agency having a guarantee like we have our quarterback. And at, barring that, you'd love to go into the draft knowing we have a guarantee who's our quarterback. And so um, – the longer these teams wait, the more insecurity, the more anxious their owners are going to get, and they're not going to want to do that. And so um, I think Albert rightly has pointed out, like, the Bears, this is the time. Move move fields now while you can maximize the the return on that, on, on that trade um, and start a bidding war because teams ultimately – uh, will get desperate, and they don't want to leave it up to to chance. And so um, we'll see. I'm really curious about this. I think this means February is going to continue to be an exciting time uh, for the Bears. Um, in this period, you know, pre-free agency, pre-draft, you know, there's still going to be a lot of intrigue. And so uh, I'd remind you, make sure that you tune, tune into this channel because we're going to be dropping all of this news as it comes out as quickly as we can. So uh, let me know what you think. Do you think uh, this is the right move? Do you think the Bears do make a move um, 
to trade fields this month? Um, and ultimately, how do you feel about that move? Let me know in the comments. And as always, bear down.